this is the next upgrade. I'm gonna show you what has been done inside. So come with me. Because I haven't showed you the interior yet. So, right. so let, let me flip you over. Okay, so the first thing I done, this guy, it's a 15 inch aluminum. And as you can see, it's quite a hybrid vehicle. So the dashboard is, that's a Toyota dashboard. It needs to go be gone. And I already have, I already bought a period correct dashboard from the state. So it should be here soon. Gonna put that one in there. This, is completely Toyota, as you can see, but it will stay for now. I uh, got the AC unit, and and here is the the shifter upgrade. So what we have here is a uh, is a uh, Hurst. Chromatic 2, which is a three speed bank shifter, you can call it that, because the way it works is uh, so now it's all the way down to first gear, and to go to the second, it's just bank 2, drive, neutral, to lift it. Reverse and park. All right. So we we have to do some MacGyvering over here because because that was not what was here. It's not finished yet. It's partially finished. This these plates are not finished yet completely just mocked it up how it's gonna look like I got these switches so I'm gonna tell you why there are switches over here so <coughs> what was here is this guy which is a uh, ugly something and uh, we need to figure out a couple of things so the way it works so this one is three speed this one is four speed so the way it got the from the drive which is the four speed to go sideways to the third and this side motion is actually just a switch it is just push the switch that's how it goes in the third so the plan is to get that switch up here and you're gonna switch between fourth and third with the switch okay now next one is this guy here this is a uh, mechanical safety switch when you put it in park this guy the lever pushes a switch which allows you to start the engine all right so obviously with this setup we don't have that so we need to pull that switch out somewhere again and th this was the mechanical release latch so if you don't have power you push this guy and you can put the transmission into neutral and also we have two switches here this one was the sport a normal mode 
which allows the engine to run a little bit higher RPM before it shifts when you step on it. And this one was a right height adjustment, which is kind of pointless because we don't have an adjustable ride anymore. Okay, and so that we still have to figure it out. And why well, you might asking why is it in two pieces? Well, the reason because I cannot take this one off. It just um, welded itself on there, so I had to cut it in half. All right, so another thing. There is a platform on, under here because they had to raise the console up to the level so there was a platform here and uh, i decided i'm gonna leave it there and this one is uh bolted on top of that however because of that it was too high so we have to raise this central thingy up a little bit so i had to make i had to make a bracket over here so there's a back steel bracket bolt in there and it's it's kind of still moving because there are two more boards down here which is not in there yet and we still don't have the cable so this one is cable operate, operated. So when you pull it down, um, it pulls the cable with it. All right. So we need to do some MacGyvering underneath the car. So let me show you that. So this is the old Toyota lever. So when you're coming down from park, you push this thing forward. So we have to figure it out to reverse the pattern. So let me show you how. So here we are underneath the car. So this is the lever. Okay. So the uh, <clears throat> the rod it was pushing it, but we need to pull it. So that is a custom-made bracket for the cable, and it's bolted right in there. It's nothing complicated, it's a straight metal piece. I think it's a little bit long, but we'll see. We'll see how long it is. So when you pull down the lever, the cable is gonna pull this forward. And that's how it should work. Okay. Now, 